This is going to be really hard for us to let it go, but we have to. North Texas churches breaking ranks with the Boy Scouts of America. Two local church leaders give their reasons, but say it's not about homosexuality. My primary responsibility is the salvation of souls. The News Leader, broadcasting for all North Texas. Fox 4 News starts now. Good evening, I'm Steve Eager. It's 9 o'clock. I'm Clarice Tinsley. One side effect from churches in Keller and Fort Worth, cutting ties with the Boy Scouts is the breakup of some Scout troops. Some parents say they'll follow the church's lead. Others say they'll find a new sponsor for their troops. First on Fox 4, Brandon Todd in Fort Worth with some reaction tonight. Brandon? Yeah, exactly, Steve Clarice. What happens when the church leadership decides they want to cut ties with the Boy Scouts, but a certain member portion of that troop decides they're going to stay? It's uh, one of those situations facing a lot of churches, not just in North Texas, but across the country, and those churches are facing this with a lot of disappointment. But I'm not ready, willing to run the risk of, of the souls of my boys. Monsignor E. James Hart announcing in a letter to parishioners at St. Elizabeth Ann Seton Catholic Church in Keller his decision not to renew the charter for Boy Scouts of America for 2014. And I think that I have a responsibility not to allow them to be put in situations that aren't going to be good for them. In the letter, Hart expresses doubts that the new policy adopted recently by the Boy Scouts of America leadership to allow openly gay scouts would even work. Hart writes, do you honestly expect me to believe that when the time comes in the life of the Boy Scouts of America that there are 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17 year old boys put together in overnight situations, some of whom with a self-professed same-sex orientation and attraction, that nothing undesirable is going to happen? I think it borders on being naive, too. And I think that there are going to be unwanted consequences. I spoke with the scoutmaster for the troop associated with the church. He declined an interview, but said they would be sticking with the Boy Scouts and find a new sponsor. But while Catholic leaders have tried to remain neutral on the policy change, evangelical churches are taking a hard stand. We're not really leaving the Boy Scouts. The Boy Scouts are leaving us. Pastor Dan Kirk with Calvary Bible Church in Fort Worth says after more than a decade of sponsoring a Boy Scout troop, they will cut ties in January when the new policy takes place. Kirk adds it's not a stand against homosexuals, but rather a moral stand. We have people who come who are struggling with homosexual desires, and they know that we love them and that we serve them. This isn't about that at all. It's about us identifying ourselves with an organization who has formally said now that they are adopting the homosexual agenda. And for scouts like Ian Long, who will, along with his brother, lose the progress they've made in scouts, his support for his church's decision comes with hope that there will be something that can take its place. It's not so much me, as I said, uh, you know, I, I age out soon, um, but it's, it's all the young guys in our, in our church who, who need this kind of structure. Hey, you heard the Monsignor say unintended consequences. What he meant by that was simply that it's his opinion there will be plenty of lawsuits filed now against the scoutmasters, against the churches and the sponsors after this new policy kicks in. Clarice? Brandon, you mentioned something taking the place of Boy Scouts of America. What are the churches going to offer the boys now? Well, they're both considering their options right now. In the case of St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, that troop will basically break apart. Those who choose to follow the, the Boy Scouts of America, as the scoutmaster told me, will do so. And the pastor told me there are already several dads who are forming a Scouts of St. George as an alternative program to that. As for Cal Calvary Bible Church, they say they'll look for an alternative as well. One of those that was mentioned was On My Honor. Its website says, quote, keep sex and politics out of scouting. There are already several scouting alternatives out there and are ready to be up and running, Clarice, by January of next year. Brandon Todd in Fort Worth. Thanks.